More and more brands these days seem to be omitting their headphone jack onto their phones. And like me, you might have a bunch of wired earphones that have suddenly become obsolete. Now, there are a range of adapters that help make these earphones work via Bluetooth, but usually there's a noticeable drop in quality when we do that. Today in this video, we're gonna take a look at this little device here, one that lets you connect any wired headset via Bluetooth and still get excellent quality audio. The best that your earphones or headphones are capable of delivering. So without further ado, hey guys, Ash here from C4E Tech and if you do find this video informative, please share, subscribe and turn on notifications by hitting that bell icon. Let's now get started. This is the FIO BTR5. FIO is well known in the audiophile community and so as small as this adapter might look, it's a pretty serious offering. Now I can pretend to be an audiophile and read out a lot of specs, but unlike some people, I don't pretend to be what I'm not. I'm not an audiophile. I'm just dipping my toes into the entire high fidelity audio scene. But hey, this BTR5 has me really impressed. And I think this is something a lot of you will most definitely find useful. Hence this video. So anyway, what is the BTR5? It's a portable DAC slash amp and a Bluetooth receiver. So what can it do? Quite a bit actually. It can help add wired headphones to phones without headphone jacks and even let you game. The latency on this is pretty good. For example, when playing PUBG Mobile or Call of Duty, it's imperative that footsteps are heard clearly on time. A delay of a second, it can make all the difference here. This little device performs admirably, especially if you have a good pair of earphones or headphones to pair with this, you've got yourself a winner winner chicken dinner. Now, the Bluetooth chip here is quite capable. So not only does the BTR5 help make these earphones or headphones wireless, but also helps retain a degree of fidelity, the quality of the headphones. Talking about which, the output's relatively powerful so it can run both mid-impedance headphones and low-sensitivity earphones that require more juice to power them. So we've seen that it can power a variety of headphones and earphones, it has good quality balanced and single-ended outputs, it does well with latency for gaming. So what else? Oh yeah, calls. Now, this BTR5 has inbuilt microphones, so even on earphones or headphones that do not have mics of their own, we can still receive and take calls. The mic array here is excellent and calls using this are crystal clear, boost level. Now that's the best I've heard and Bluetooth 5.0 means the range is excellent too. Apart from this, the BTR5 can also help improve the audio output from your PC. It's got dual ESS Sabre 9218P DAX, so we can basically use it as a DAC for the PC via a USB port. It drastically improves the audio from a PC or a laptop. Similarly, we can use it as a wired DAC for a phone too. Uh, now, just get a USB Type-C to Type-C cable and we end up getting high fidelity audio out of our phones. And additionally, with say a TV, we can use this to convert any pair of headphones to Bluetooth so we can watch content on a smart TV without disturbing anyone. Now, these are just some use case scenarios here. Now, the reason why the BTR5 is so damn good is because it's got those dual ESS Sabre 9218P DAX. In simple terms, when we are using it wired, it acts as a portable DAX slash amp uh, for the audio from the phone or PC. Especially with phones, the output via Type-C to headphone jack converters, it's always man. Have you, have you guys tried that? Whenever there's an included converter in the box, the audio quality takes a hit but this helps us continue enjoying excellent audio output. Now, as for Bluetooth, it supports LDAC, aptx HD, aptx LL, which is low latency aptx. If your phone supports it, then you can get even lower latency via your favorite wired headphones. Now, there's also support for aptx and AAC. It has a balanced 2.5 millimeter port that uses both the 9218P chips in tandem and supplies a cleaner and more powerful output. This comes in handy when driving high impedance headphones and earphones. It also has a relatively black background or noise flow. Basically what that means is there's no discernible hiss with more sensitive high-end gear. Now how do you control the BTR5? That is something that's very important with something like this. If the control scheme is really, uh, what do you say, if it's really inconvenient, if it's really 
Blair, then this isn't something that's going to be useful, right? Now, there are two ways uh, Fio lets us do it. One is via the device itself, and it's quite intuitive. Now, these buttons to the side, we can use it, and there's a little display that Fio has provided, and it's pretty much, it's pretty intuitive. Uh, long press this button to turn off and on. Volume up and down keys increase or decrease volume on short press. Skip tracks on long press. This center key triggers voice assistant on long press. It picks up calls, ends it, pauses and plays on short press. Barring these, we can tinker around with some settings like, for example, uh, we can select from a bunch of filters and preset EQ profiles. Alternatively, Fio Control provides all these controls via a nifty little app. As you can see, it's pretty detailed. We can set the device to keep drawing power from a connected device uh, continuously or when this is just turned on. This could come in handy when you're using it with a home audio system or TV, or we can have it not draw power, which helps when you're say connected to an Android phone, because the last thing you're gonna wanna have is a fully charged Fio and a trained phone, right? Now, there's also a dedicated car mode uh, when the car turns on, the BTR5 automatically turns on with it and it turns off when the car turns off. Sweet. Now here we can select different codecs or disable certain ones. For example, we can disable LDAC and aptx HD to force aptx LL or aptx low latency uh, if you want to use that. It's helpful if you want to have better latency. That said, even without aptx LL, the BTR5 does deal quite well with latency. Then there's the option to set priority. So here we choose if the priority is to function as a USB DAC or Bluetooth. Here we have a bunch of EQ presets to choose from. Let me know in the comments below if you guys EQ your music. There is a really neat feature that automatically calculates the necessary volume level of the earphones connected based on the impedance. This could be very useful when you switch between different earphones and you don't uh, want to accidentally blow your eardrums out. We can select how loud our call volumes or key tones should be as well. There are a bunch of digital filters to choose from based on your tastes. You have the liberty to fine tune your experience here. There are a host of other features too. Now, as I mentioned earlier, a lot of these can be accessed via the device settings itself. And that's really useful considering the size of the BTR5. Now let's talk about the sound. It is fairly neutral with a hint of warmth and a slight bass boost. It pairs well with almost all the earphones I have. It's capable of driving relatively hard to drive headphones and IEMs while also being able to do well with sensitive IEMs, which is pretty important. All in all, it's one of the better offerings from Fio and for that matter, other companies as well uh, on the market right now. While using it in Bluetooth mode, I had a good experience without any issues connectivity wise. And like I mentioned earlier, the call quality was absolutely fantastic. And I'm very happy about it thanks to the uh, CSR 8675 Bluetooth chip uh, capable of playing 96 kilohertz formats. The battery life, uh, it is rated for nine hours and it pretty much does that. Now, is this a little expensive? Probably at 8,990, it's not the cheapest Bluetooth adapter you can find, but it's not really just a Bluetooth adapter, is it? It is a lot more. The quantity of stuff, and not just that, the quality of stuff that you get out of this little guy is amazing, and everything it brings to the table, for 8,990, it definitely seems like it's worth the price tag. And that's just my two cents. What do you guys think? Leave a comment down below, let me know. Uh, generally these days, I'm just tired of reviewing the same old, same old phones over and over again. So I was just digging through Amazon, trying to figure out if I can find something unique, find something different, find something that would kind of uh, enhance everybody's uh, phone experience, everybody's overall experience with phones, with headphones, with games and everything. And I kind of stumbled across this and I was kind of using it for a while and I really liked it. So I thought I'd do this video. So let me guys know what your thought is and if everyone, if anyone actually ends up trying it out, leave a comment below letting me know uh, how your experience uh, with the BTR5 was. And with that, we get to the end of this video. Uh, thumbs up, thumbs down based on whatever you felt about it. Subscribe, turn on notifications by hitting the bell icon if you haven't yet. And thanks a lot for watching. Till next time, my name's Ash. You've been watching C4 Retech and I'm signing off for now. You guys have a great day. Bye-bye. And if you heard that phone going off in the background, give this video a thumbs up.